Hello everyone. In this video, we will be covering how to draw straight line graphs. So we will cover two methods. We'll cover the table method and the rise and run method. Now the table method is a lot longer and a lot less necessary for drawing straight line graphs. But you might need it for drawing more complicated graphs. So we will learn how to do it for a straight line graph. Or if someone asks you to do it that way, you will know how to. And then we'll learn the rise over run method, which is a lot quicker and a lot nicer to use. So first let's cover the formula of a straight line. So a straight line is of the format y is equal to mx plus c. So m is my gradient. So a gradient is how steep a graph is. So if my gradient is very high, it is very steep. And if my gradient is quite low, so like 1 over 8, which is very low, then your graph will be quite flat. So if your gradient is positive, you will get a graph facing in this direction. And if your gradient is negative, you'll have a graph facing in this direction. And that is what your gradient will do. Now let's look at this C. The C is your y-intercept. So if you have your graph, that C will be where your line goes through the y-axis. So it could be here if your C was positive, or it could be down here somewhere maybe if your C was negative. And that is the format of a straight line. Now let's look at the table method for drawing a straight line. Now, let's look at the line y is equal to a half x plus 1. So from the formula over here, we can see that the gradient is a half. So now let's do the table method for this line over here. y is equal to a half x plus 1. So from this equation, we can tell that the gradient is a half. It is the number next to the x. So a half as a gradient, it is positive, so we're going to get something going in this type of direction. And it's a half, so it's less than 1. So we're going to get quite a flat graph. What else we can see is that we have a plus 1. That means our y-intercept is going to be at positive 1. So where x is 0, y will be positive 1. So we know that is going to be part of our graph. Now, for the table method, what we are going to do is we are going to put values of x into this equation, and then we are going to find out what y is. And then we will use that point that we get, and we will put it on our graph, and that will go through the line. And once we get enough points, we can connect them, and we will have the straight line that fits this equation. So let's put minus 2 into this equation. So if I put minus 2 into a half x plus 1, minus 2 goes here. So minus 2 times a half gives me minus 1, plus this 1 gives me 0. So when I have minus 2, I have y is 0. Now, I could put the minus 1 in there too, but I see this as a half. So if I put numbers that aren't multiples of 2 into x, we will end up with a fraction. So I'm going to put only multiples of 2 into x so it can cancel with this half so that I get whole numbers, which will be easy to graph. Now, if someone asks you to do the table method, you might need to show these points if they're in your question, and then you should. But if no one's given you any instruction, you don't have to show the y-coordinates with fractions. So I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to put 0 in. Now if I put 0 as x I will get my y-intercept which is 1. And now I'm going to skip 1 for the same reason and I'm going to go to 2. And if I put 2 into here a half times 2 gives me 1 plus that 1 gives me 2. And now I have three points. I have this point I have this point and this point. Now I'm going to put them onto the Cartesian plane and I'm going to join the dots and I will get my line. So let's put x is minus 2 and y is 0. So x is minus, as minus 2 is here. The naught and 1 I already have on my graph. And now I'm going to put x is 2 and y is 2. So x is 2 over here and y is 2 over there and I get a point over here. And now I have three points, and I'm going to join them. You would use a ruler, but I don't have a ruler for my whiteboard, so I'm just going to connect them by hand. 
and this is my graph for my straight line y is equal to half x plus 1 now if I had y is equal to x I'd end up with a graph like that which is steeper than y is equal to a half x plus 1 which is what we expected an important thing for graphs is that we should label them so we should put y is equal to a half x plus 1 next to the line so that people can tell what the equation is another thing to note is that our graph is going in the correct direction because that is positive and positive graphs go in that direction and that is the table method for drawing a straight line now we will cover the rise over run method so let's look at the line y is equal to 2 over 3x plus 1 so from this equation I can tell that the gradient is 2 over 3 and that is positive again so we should get a line that goes in this type of direction and we have a plus 1 so I know my intercept is going to be here again so with the rise and run method it's going to be rise over run when looking at your gradient so our gradient is 2 over 3 so I'm going to rise 2 and run 3 rise over run so I'm going to, from my point I need a point first so I'm going to use my intercept as my first point I'm going to rise 2 so I'm gonna go 1 2 up and then I'm going to run 3 so I'm going to go 1 2 3 across so I went up 2 from my first point and I went 3 across rise over run and now I'm going to say this is a point on my graph now I'm going to do it again I'm going to from this point this time though I'm going to go up 1 2 and I'm going to run 1 2 3 and I'm going to say this is a point and we are going in this direction because we know a positive graph goes in this direction now I'm going to go in the opposite direction and I know that a positive graph will also go in this direction so I'm going to go down to 1 2 and then I'm gonna run the other way I'm gonna go 1 2 3 and I'll make a point there and let's do one more I'll go down 1 2 and I'll go across 1 2 3 I'll make a point here and now I have enough points and now I just connect the dots so I will end up with a graph like that and I will have to label my graph 2 over 3 x plus 1 and that is how I draw it see that's a lot quicker and a lot less to calculate than the table method now I'll just do an example where we have a negative gradient so that you can see the rise and run method works in the opposite direction and then we will be done just remember when you're drawing graphs you need to draw the line long enough so that you can see your y-intercept and your x-intercept so where your line goes through your y-axis and where your line goes through your x-axis needs to be visible let's look at the graph y is equal to minus 2x minus 1 using the rise and run method so we can see from this equation that our gradient is minus 2 so it's a minus graph so we will have something going in this direction and we have a minus 1 as my intercept so I will end up with a minus 1 being part of my graph so this point here is part of our graph now we're going to do the rise and run method now 2 is the same as 2 over 1 so we're gonna rise 2 and run 1 so from this point I'm going to rise 2 1 2 and now I'm going to run in that direction because a negative graph goes in this direction so I'm going to rise 2 and I'm going to run 1 and I end up here now I'm going to do it again I'm going to rise 2 1 2 and I'm gonna run 1 I'll end up here going forward again 1 2 and then I rise run 1 and I end up there now I'll go in the opposite direction so I'll drop 2 and I will run 1 and I'll end up here then I'll drop 2 and I'll run 1 and I'll end up here and now I have enough points let me just join them together and I will have my graph so I will end up with this straight line now if I was using a ruler it would look a lot straighter but you get the premise now I just need to remember to label my graph as y is equal to 2x or minus 2x minus 1 and I am done and that is my straight line so 
I hope you now all understand how to use the rise over run method and the table method to draw straight line graphs. The rise over run method is a lot quicker and if they don't tell you specifically which one to use, you should use the rise over run method because it is a lot quicker and it will save you time. If there are any other topics you would like me to cover, please leave your suggestion in the comment section below. Happy studying guys!